Russian troops entered the center of the city of Chasivyar in the Donetsk region, the battle for which has been going on for more than six months. As build analyst Julian Ropk points out, Chasivyar is located on a hill and is protected from the east by the Seversky Donetsk Donbass waterway. Russian troops were unable to cross it for a long time. However, they have now succeeded, and judging by the footage of street fighting, the Russian armed forces have almost reached the avant-garde stadium in the city center. As Ropk notes, Russian troops have been spotted for the first time in the center of Chasivyar, and there are no Ukrainian soldiers around ready for battle. We see complete ruins and the use of drones by the Ukrainians to attack the Russians. This always indicates that the Russians already control this territory and the Ukrainians are attacking them with drones from about 100 meters to the west, the build expert said. Ropk had previously noted that the occupiers had managed to break through to Kurakov and consolidate their positions on its outskirts. According to him, the Russians now control 15% of the city. It is noted that the Ukrainian armed forces are under threat of encirclement near Kukarov, they are separated from the north by a reservoir, and Russian troops are advancing from the east, southeast and southwest. The Russian armed forces managed to make a 5 to 6 kilometers advance and enter the village of Dalne in the center of the formed semicauldron. Thus, the Ukrainian defenders were divided. To the south of Dalne, several hundred Ukrainian armed forces soldiers continue to defend five to six villages on the banks of the Sukhiyili River. They are now surrounded from the north, south and east, the statement said. It is indicated that now the only way out of the encirclement for the Ukrainian armed forces fighters is the village of Konstantinopolskoy. According to Ropk, the Ukrainian troops will retreat in advance so as not to end up in a cauldron. He considers the situation in the south critical. As military expert Sergei Grabsky noted, the Kuraki direction remains the main one for the Russians at this stage of the war. He noted that the enemy sets itself the task of reaching the line chase of Yar, Konstantinovka, Pokrovsk in the north, and from the south to align the front line, the point should be Konstantinopolandrievka. The Kremlin urgently needs results on the battlefield, which is why the command has stopped taking losses into account altogether. Even valuable military specialists are thrown into the so-called meat assaults. This was reported by Mikhail Polinkov, a Russian Z-blogger and associate of the Czechist Strelkov Gherkin. Polinkov was horrified by the processes that are taking place in the Russian army. According to him, Russian soldiers are being destroyed en masse, throwing meat at the front. I see the situation getting worse. Some units are transferring everyone to assault. They are disbanding reconnaissance, UAVs, and so on, and everyone to assault. According to the papers, one number of assault troops is submitted, but in fact, it turns out, there are none. And up there they demand a larger number of living bayonets. It doesn't matter if they are wounded or what, but they must be in assault," Polinkov said. He spoke quite boldly about the Putin regime, admitting that the authorities do not consider their own people to be human beings. We understand the attitude of the authorities towards all of us. Not even the authorities, but the system. I do not consider the Russian Federation a state. Any state is based on ideology. This is the foundation on which the state is built. We do not have it. It has been replaced by capitalism, banditry, a careless attitude towards the individual. Ideology has been replaced by the commercial interests of a narrow group of people who live off the super profits from the sale of our homeland's resources. I consider the Russian Federation a closed joint stock company, where Putin is the irreplaceable CEO, said the Z-blogger. 
Russia has almost exhausted its forces to continue the war against Ukraine. In the near future, the so-called SVO will be curtailed. That special strange military operation that began almost three years ago is coming to an end. The trend is already obvious. Everything is heading towards a denouement that Moscow did not think about in February 2022. The longer this war goes on, the worse the post-war conditions are for the Russian Federation. Israel's Megan David Adam Rescue Services said one woman was killed and 10 people wounded in a Hezbollah rocket attack on the northern Israeli city of Shvarim. According to paramedics who arrived at the scene, the woman was killed instantly and 10 others were injured after a rocket struck a four-story building. The Israeli military said the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah launched more than 100 projectiles toward Israel on Monday. Hezbollah began launching missiles, rockets and drones at Israel on October 8, 2023, in solidarity with Hamas in its war with Israel in Gaza. Israel stepped up their attack against Hezbollah in mid-September. On Monday an Israeli airstrike slammed into a densely populated residential area in Beirut near key government and diplomatic buildings, killing at least five people as the US pressed ahead with ceasefire efforts. More than 3,400 people have been killed in Lebanon by Israeli fire 80% of them in the past eight weeks according to Lebanon's health ministry.